Hi, I'm Philip Lee. I'm with uh, Marketing and Public Relations. How are you swinging um, out there in YouTube land and Facebook land and Twitter land and wherever on social media? I'm here with uh, Norma Jean Dodge, Director of Business and Industries. And again, it's that time of the year where, or that time of the month where we're going to talk about their classes. And we have July classes going on and also some kids' colleges. Hey, Norma Jean, how's it going today? I well, thank you. Good. Hey, let's go ahead and talk about the exciting classes that you have now. Obviously, um, we had a long weekend, and now I guess we're ready to rock and roll with all of these exciting <laughs> classes in July. So what do you got for us? Well, you're right. We had a long weekend, and that was very nice to have that we are um, starting a lot of different things next week. And from there, it's just uh, full speed with different uh, business industry, community enrichment classes, and professional development, as well as our kids' college. So, okay, the first thing, uh, I'm sorry to interrupt you. The first thing I want to do, yeah, if you're interested at all about any of these, um, any of these programs or colleges or um, classes, you can call Norma Jean and the number out over there at Business Ministry is 417-1170? Yes. Okay, so, you know, before we even start, you should just call up right now and there'll be someone who's answering and if you want any of the information or any of the call classes going on, Dial that number 417 1170, and they'll be happy to let you in on all the information classes that's happening in July. All right, Norma Jean, so let's get started. Well, uh, next week on Tuesday, we start off with our basic art of cookie decorating class. We had one in June and it focused on Father's Day. This one is focusing just on summertime things and um, whether it's uh, sunshine, uh, ice cream, I don't know exactly what Julie has together, but it's a summertime theme. So if you are interested in learning how to decorate cookies or maybe you've taken the class, we have several ladies that are repeat ladies that have come back and done that as well. Um, we've had people come with their children. Um, we do have an age limit. We ask that they at least are 11 and up to take the class, um, but they do have extra paperwork for anybody that's gonna bring their own child, granddaughter, grandson, whatever you wanna do. That is next Tuesday, July the 13th from six to nine. And the cost is $40 that includes your cookies, all the icing, the things to ice your cookies um, with. So. And, 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 and you know, it is, you know, we want parents to bring their kids, especially daughters, whether it be fathers or sons, fathers and daughters, daughters and sons, daughters and do uh, mothers and daughters. And, you know, it's a great activity together, isn't it? I mean, like to actually hang out and I've seen this before. Where that you know the kids just having a great time with their with their parents decorate decorating. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of the community enrichment classes you'll see that um, people come with their girlfriends or um, they'll bring their grandchildren or children and it works really well. It's just a great time to do something together and just get out of the house and also you have a great treat to take back home with you or if it makes it out the door that is. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. It's a great, um, you know, it's just a great activity, whether it be couples or family. Mm -hmm. And, then okay, so and that's next, next Tuesday. Yes, next Tuesday. So also next week, though, on Thursday, we have um, our, our office offers a lot of safety training. Most of it's usually done on contract basis where we go out to a company and we'll do monthly safety training or we'll do some um, in tra training in-house, whether it's forklift training or OSHA 10 or any medic first aid. We've had a lot of companies in April and May that did that. But the a uh, couple of things that we're doing the, this month is um, I did some research and um, with OSHA because I get I have received a lot of um, safety magazines and they talk about where a lot of the um, sightings and, and cases of where they're up because the safety issues were in met like they should. And so some of the four categories that I picked that we're doing for July is fall protection training. So if you're a company that needs to focus on um, making sure your employees are well aware of fall protection and the things that they need to be, um, keep making sure they're meeting those safety guidelines, we have a class for you on um, Thursday, July the 15th. And that one's only an hour course. And then uh, right after that, another high um, rate um, topic was um, back safety. Um, so that can apply to a lot of people. A lot of us um, pick up different things or move things from here or there. But if you're one of those companies, definitely you're using, your employees are using their back. Uh, we have a one hour safety training for them as well that same day. And that is for, um, immediately following. We have a 30 minute break and that's from 11 a.m. to noon. Each class is $25. Uh, 
However, if you enroll for both of them, it is $45. So they get a $5 discount rate if they take both of them. So uh, I, like I said, I, we do a lot of research in our office. What things do we need to be offering the community? And when I saw that magazine and I was going through it and it talked about the, the list of where um, cases have been reported of incidents, those were some of the um, topics that were listed. And the other ones that we'll be doing later in July, since we're talking about safety, I'm gonna go ahead and add about that is the personal protection equipment. What kind of things should your employees be wearing, whether it's safety glasses or um, if they need to put earplugs in, what thing, or if they need to wear certain gloves or their clothing needs to be a certain type of clothing because they're working with flames. Um, so we'll be talking about PPE on July the 29th, 9.30 to um, 10.30, and then hearing protection. Um, I, I tour a lot of businesses because that's part of my job is to work with business and industry and kind of get familiar with what they do and um, when they're looking for students and the type of training they need. And so one of the things that I notice when I go out there, they'll give me earplugs to put in my ears because they need to uh, protect my ears, but also their employees. And so if you're one of those companies as well that needs to focus on hearing protection, we also are offering that on July 29th from 11 a.m. to noon. And again, I combo those two classes that they're 25 each or you can take two, um, it's $45. Yeah, a lot of these safety classes, you know, we sort of don't think a whole lot about them. And I think that sometimes we take things for granted. And these are, could have be just be a simple, a simple, you know, um, $25 course can basically save, you know, hundreds of thousands of dollars in sort of uh, insurance or liability issues, you know. And I think that, that one of the things is, is that these are really almost common sense classes or refresh courses. I didn't think about that. Like you talk about the safety equipment. Well, you know, oh, maybe if I just would have just use instead of those glasses, I could have used those glasses or gloves mm -hmm. or, or things like that. Yeah, and, and then unfortunately, Phil, you're right. Um, there's companies that I've worked with and, and that's what happens in some cases it's after an incident. And so let's help you um, help, hopefully prevent that ahead of time or and make your employees aware of different things that they need to know about, whether it's personal protection, hearing protection, and taking care of their back or if they're um, on heights and ways to protect themselves from fall protect a fall protection type course, um, let us help you do that. But like you mentioned, it, it typically we are contacted after an incident um, or they they realize that, that certain people have been through training. So if we can help you ahead of time and just be proactive, we would like to do that. Yeah, I think that like yeah, that's just really great. And again, a lot of times people who go through this like, oh, I don't need this, you know, I can do this, but then. Oh, that makes a lot of sense because you you have a lot of experts who are actually teach these classes and they know what they're going through. And so therefore, like you wouldn't think of these certain things, but you know, like, oh, once more things again, liability issues. Mm -hmm. So um, again, those are both in July. One's mm -hmm. this Thursday, I mean not this next Thursday, and then the other one's the last Thursday, July 29th. Um, another thing next week is we have kind of a busy week of classes, is we are um, doing for the first time a class um, titled The Importance of Funeral Pre-Planning. And um, I know just experience that on my own, uh, when my father passed away, you, it's just something you don't wanna deal with and um, it's part of life, but how do we um, you know, be prepared ahead of time and work through that? Cause sometimes it's just not something we want to deal with at that moment. So maybe if it's already pre-planned, it makes it an, just something a little bit easier and not have to uh, focus too much on that part. So if we could help you um, with this class, we are partnering um, uh, with Gene McElroy and he is going to be talking about funeral pre-planning. And that is $20, it's a two hour class. It is here at the industri um, Industrial Tech Campus. And he'll give you great information on things that you need to work on and uh, think about, taking into account for um, financially, what you need to look at. And so, I mean, I'm, sure he's not going to give you here's your exact price because everything varies but it just things that you need to look at and different uh price ranges and insurances to look at and what things would work best for you you at that time or your your spouse or whoever if you come as a group because even when we do our wills and estates class we have a lot of people come together as a couple so um, to work everything out so I, I would suggest that that might be a good thing to come as a couple if you can or if it's just you whichever but a um, great opportunity to learn some things about how do you pre-plan your funeral? Yeah, it's, it's something that we don't want to think about, but you know, the financial costs of that, and then the process that you actually go through is pretty, you know, uh, especially when you're going through such a traumatic time, 
mm -hmm. know, you want to prepare and how it sort of goes through and what you have to go through. And before you know it, you're just sort of overwhelmed. I think that with what I said is that if you're in a traumatic, traumatic situation with the funeral and then suddenly now you have to deal with it, no one wants to deal with it. At least when you do this, you're a little bit prepared. And I think, you know, you yourself probably that has gone through this can probably take from experience, you know, how difficult it really is. And, you know, whether or not you did a preparation or not, it, you know, probably helped out, it probably would have helped out quite a bit or did. Mm -hmm. I think that keyword is what you said, you're overwhelmed already. I mean, there's so many other things on your mind when you're helping plan that loved one's funeral. And if it's pretty much set already and you just need to go in there and that'll be one less thing at that time that you could take off of your mind. Is right. Is that part. So that is Thursday, July the 15th from six to eight. Also next week, um, we have a new class that we're offering. It's called Makeup Artistry. Um, I'm excited to be working with Jessica Malin. Um, her mom works out here at the college. Uh, <laughs> we're um, excited to have Jessica come out. And if, so if you're interested in learning more about makeup and how do you apply it, what's good for your skin and what looks great. I know I don't. I was trying to match stuff, but I don't wear great <laughs> makeup. So maybe if I had a class like this, maybe I would. But um, for those of you that maybe are think, trying to um, look at things that work best for your uh, skin tone, um, mm -hmm. What a great opportunity to meet with Jessica and she could share you her, share with you her and um, tricks and traits of makeup. Mm -hmm. That is July the 17th. It's at two, two to four in the afternoon and it's only $25. And, and I'm going to guess that this would be a great class again for um, for a mother or daughter who wants to or oh, yeah. a lot uh, yeah, of her friends. And the only thing that we ask is that you bring your own makeup supplies um, mm -hmm. because we would have no idea everybody's skin tone colors that are that would be part of the class so we ask that you bring your own and I'm sure even when you're in the class or you're, when you're there just going to give you more suggestions after she sees what your makeup is too but we do ask that you bring your own supplies mm -hmm. and that one again now, she also I, go, go ahead it is again July 17th only $25 from two to four okay. also um this month of July we are offering our CMA and CNA update um we have not offered it this summer um norma is very busy lady and um, she's actually doing some credit classes for us this summer so she's been busy doing that but she's able to help us do some of our cma and cna updates so people can still keep their licenses going um july 19th and 20th is the cma update so if you're a certified med a, a medication a person and you need your um, license renewed we will be offering that again the 19th and 20th and it goes from four to nine and it's $100. This will meet the requirement that you need for the state. You'll come in, you'll do the course and then we'll fill out the application and submit it to the state for your renewal. Okay. And then on that following Wednesday on the 21st, we'll do our certified nurse aid refresher course. They will, Norma will work with you on your 18 skills. You'll have to demonstrate those. And then again, the same process, once you demonstrate those skills, Norma will sign off on those. And then our office will make sure to submit that to the state. So your um, licensings will be renewed. Okay. Okay. And then on July as well, on the um, that following Friday the 23rd, we are doing our defensive driving for truck drivers. So um, we partner a lot with our truck driving program. And um, we do have a CDL seminar that is actually this coming Monday. And uh, so you're talking about phones, now they're calling me, Phil, but that's, that's <laughs> all right there. Um, so uh, the, that, um, the one for CDL seminar right now, we're still limited to the number of people we can put in the classroom. So that one is actually full this summer, the CDL seminar, and it's full in September. So keep an eye out for our schedule and we'll let you know what openings we have, but the defensive driving uh, for truck drivers is open. If you're a truck driver and you need to get that renewed or you've not taken it, it's an every other year card. Um, and again, just like our regular defensive driving for day-to-day -day driving, um, it may help you with your insurance. So just check with your insurance company and see if that would help you. Okay. Um, as for community enrichment classes, uh, we, we have one more in July and that was on July 22nd. It is a welcome sign class. We are working with Tammy um, Hieronymus um, and she will be um, teaching a welcome sign class and she'll help you um, 
make different times. The one that we kind of put on there, it says like, welcome, we hope you like our dogs, but it's whatever you want to do to put on your door. And it's kind of neat because the other day I was driving home and I saw somebody had kind of a similar sign that we're kind of promoting. So if you're into, especially fall, I think people start thinking about, oh, let's start doing some decorations and stuff like that. So that class is scheduled for July the 26th. It's from six to eight and it costs $30. Now That's these... It's a it's a wooden sign, so you provide all the yep. materials. Yep, the supplies will be included in that class. Um, you just call us and register um, for our class, and we'll get you all taken care of. And again, I bet that would be fun with a group of people. Hmm. So, and then we felt we talked about kids' college. Oh my goodness, it's right around the corner. I can't believe it. Uh, mm -hmm. Jennifer in my office, I know as I speak, is um, out starting to get supplies for us as we're getting ready. Um, this morning, as we visit about Kids College, um, our bowling class at eight o'clock is almost full. We only have one slot left. So if you're looking at bowling, he is offering it three different times, but the first time he's offering it at 8 a.m., it is almost full. So it, it does range for kids from first through eighth grade. The classes are all $25. I know when I was talking to Jennifer, a lot of phone calls that we're getting is, can you explain to me how this works? Well, mm -hmm. Kids College, there are three sessions. And what we mean by that is your child can take up to three classes. They can be here at eight o'clock and then they can stay for a night, a class that starts at 9.30 and they can start and stay for another class at 11. If, if they cannot be here for a certain time slot, that's fine. They can be here from eight to 10.45. That means they, they're taking two classes or they can come at 9.30. Maybe they like to sleep in. So you want to, you don't wanna bring them till 9.30. They can be here till 9.30 to 12.15. Um, the only thing we ask is if there's a gap between classes, your, the parents would have to pick them up and then bring them back. Because Jennifer and I and um, our other um, know, community college employees that are helping us with Kids College are typically um, walking around, taking pictures, assisting teachers. So we wouldn't be able to keep an eye on the students um, that had to stay around. So we ask that there is a gap that parents pick them up or if you wanna leave them here all day, that would only cost $75 to leave them here from 8 a.m. to 12.15 because each class as I mentioned is $25 each. Um, so what kind of classes do we have? It ranges now, first of all, when does it start? It starts on the 19th, right? Yes, it starts July 19th and it runs through the 22nd because we're only open Monday through Thursday. Um, so they, as I mentioned, the first class starts at eight, the last class ends at 12, 15. It kind of, we did it that way so parents can drop them off before they go to work and then we can keep them here till their parents have to, they have a lunch break and can pick them up at 12, 15. But I understand that doesn't work for everybody. So you just kind of pick and choose what time frames work for your family's schedule. So um, the various things that we offer, you and I were talking earlier that, um, well, actually, I was talking to Mike Bailey. Can he tell me here on the radio that the police department was talking about their class? Um, they've been partnering with us for a long time. They're doing a Who Done It class. And it's, it's pretty neat. If you've never been in the class, I like to go in there. Um, I've not been used as a witness because I'm so busy. I wish I had some time because I'd love to be used as a witness or um, they, they bring people in, they interview them, they do fingerprints and they do have somebody who is the actual uh, person that the crime happened to and the person who committed the crime. Uh, just a great opportunity for kids just to learn kind of what the police um, officers um, do um, and then they do actually take a tour out at the police department. So we're excited about that partnership and how they bring the excitement to the kids and the things that they do on day to day at their work. Um, we have swimming classes. I know that the rec offers several and um, we're glad to um, offer some that maybe if you can't get into their schedule that we have the opportunity to do it here as well. I know some of them are filling up as well. So those are that's another class if you're interested in the swimming lessons with Whitney Hampton that you come in and register pretty quickly for those. And then she does have different age levels for those as well. Um, now those swimming classes are they here at the college? Yes, they're here at the college. Okay. Um, so uh, Whitney is a, a water safety instructor, so she is certified to be doing those and she'll be working with your kids. And if you have questions, I know I had some parents call, well, I don't know what level my child is in. And Whitney's been more than happy to call them and visit with them and kind of see what level to put them in for the classes. Um, other classes that we have, Phil, we have painting classes, acrylic painting. Um, mm -hmm. And that is with Kareem Gayo. She's actually done some of our adult classes. So she's also working with the kids now. 
We have Crochet Away. Uh, Chris Clausen has done some awesome job with our kids before in the past. And I've seen kids take the crochet that they've learned here and put it out into um, different craft shows. So it, it's, a, it's a lost art sometimes, I think, because you don't see as many people doing that. So right. what a great opportunity to put your child into a crochet class and learn. Um, actually, one of my sons, he took the class a long time ago. And I said, what are you doing? He goes, I'm going to crochet. I forgot what kind of scarf he said he was. <laughs> and he said he, he just, well, because his brain is always thinking numbers. And so I think this is a way for him to, to get off the number thing. And so I think it's a great way just to relax. And so again, a thanks to Chris Kloss in there. Uh, we have a glass staining class, uh, Mexican and Korean culture. Um, um, the Cindy, who is teaching that class, Gengaro, who's teaching it, is um, going to talk about Mexican and Korean culture, but she's also said she's going to put some food in there as well so they can kind of sample that as well. So that'll be fun. Origami, that's pretty popular, um, mm -hmm. making um, different things with paper. Um, right. That mm -hmm. one's actually getting pretty full as well. Um, breakfast. Oh my goodness, who doesn't like breakfast? Uh, we have an instructor doing that. Um, so if you want your child to start learning how to cook, that is towards your fourth and eighth grade. And what a great time to start learning that. Um, I know I, I'm trying to keep emphasizing to my kids, they need to learn how to cook. So when they go off in the real world, they don't have to go to McDonald's or wherever all the time they need to go to, they can know that they can cook at home. Um, eat around your world, eat around Eat your way around the world. That's another one Chris Clausen is doing. And that one's going to not involve anything that, um, any, any heating element. They will be able to do that. It'll be more of like snack type things that they can do. Um, and parents don't have to worry about them being around a heating element. Mm -hmm. um, we have partnered with the RAC and they're going to do a robotics class for our younger kids because we also have Ed Hall doing a coding type class for our older kids. So. Um, two different options for younger and older and cheerleading. That's always been popular, Phil. Um, mm -hmm. We have um, Nevaeh Hickey working on our cheerleading class for us. And then we have Becca Shea doing our dance class. Those have been some very popular classes that have been returned. When you look into sports, we had some sports camps in June with our coaches. And so if you miss those opportunities, the Ori Kids College has some other opportunities. Um, we have a basketball camp with um, Amanda Collins and she's coached um, different um, sports and she's also done basketball. So she's gonna come and help kids with their skills on that. Uh, we're fortunate to have Gino, our own coach Gino here at the college. He's gonna do a, a perfect pass class. So if you can't pass, we really can't get that ball to the center and then we can't get them to put that ball down. So he's actually doing that class, but he's also, um, that class is a little bit more because he is providing the students with uh, one of his new um, invention. I, I can't remember exactly what the name of it is, but he does have a, a website for his, um, it's, um, I can't even remember what it's exactly it's called, <laughs> but it helps you with passing the ball. As you know that he tells me it's a perfect pass device. That's what he calls okay. it. So he does have a website and so he's giving us a discounted um, price for it. So the total of that class would be $45, but what a great opportunity to learn from one of um, our uh, coach, coach of the year, um, mm -hmm. great volleyball team. And he's can teach you how to do that perfect pass to your setter so we can get the ball in play. Right. So those are, mm -hmm. and I kind of did that quickly. Those are a lot of the classes that we're offering. Oh, and we have a softball class too for those that want to learn how to pitch. Um, Carmen Levins is going to do a softball fast pitch course um, for us. And that one's only offered once and that's early in the morning, which is probably good because it's so hot in July. Right. And you still have an archery class, right? Yes, we do. I forgot. Sorry. Thank you. Um, Craig Dusek, he does so many different things for adults as well. Um, and I, I just appreciate him coming out and doing the archery class for our kids. That one is typically one of our popular ones too. So if your kids want to learn about archery, what a great way to um, um, learn is from Craig. Um, he does, like I said, he does adult classes for archery. He does stuff for the college that um, do the archery program as well. So if your kid is interested, this is a great class for them. So again, if they want to know any information or anything about the kids' cause, they can call BNI and again, the number is 417. Uh, one one seven zero. 
Yes, and Phil, just to let parents know too, that last day, Thursday, we keep um, the kids a little bit longer. If they're interested in keeping them here with us, we do a pizza pull party. Thanks to our sponsorship with Pizza Hut, we will have um, pizza and then the kids will get to swim just for a little bit in the big indoor pool, which excites them because not many kids get to come out to the indoor pool. And right. so mm -hmm. that would be an just, opportunity. And I said yeah. they just cleaned it and just refilled it so it was nice and clean and ready to be used. Yes. <laughs> It's amazing what happens to that pool. So yeah, it's been nicely cleaned out and ready to go. And then also on the last day, we do a um, open house. The last three sessions will we'll have demonstrations, whether it's dance, cheer, or the, the kids will display their artwork. We'll let parents know throughout the week what that's gonna look like, but we do invite the community and parents to come back and see what the kids learn while they were here on the Seward County Community College campus. And we do encourage the community to come on out and see all the incredible things that they have learned. You know, I've been out over there and seen the dance of the chairs. And it's just amazing what, what they've actually learned in such a short time of a week and such. And especially a lot of the projects where, you know, if they're doing kind of painting or gross or showing the food, I mean, you just saw like, wow, they really learned how to do this within a, um, within a week. And it's, some of the stuff is pretty amazing. Yes, it is. And like I said, it's a short time but they do learn a lot. And what, I, what I've liked is some of these students have, that some of the teachers we have have our, kids, our past kids college instructors. So that's what I really enjoy is when they come back and they taught for us, they've experienced kids college and they really enjoyed it and they wanna come back and be one of our teachers as well. This is our 21st year. Um, we're excited that we're able to do that. I know COVID put a damper on things last year. So we're just excited mm -hmm. that we can offer it this year. And let's sort of put this all into perspective, Mary Jean. For $75 for a morning for a week, you get your kids get to possibly get three activities and learn something for a whole entire morning. And that's all you're spending, right? $75? Yeah. yeah. That's they're at the bargain at any price for that. And they get to stay in for an entire morning and learn something, not just learn monthly, but they can learn mm -hmm. three things. So if there are any kind of three topics that they're interested in. This is a great opportunity for them. Yes, it is. And so just things that like so they can learn and apply and use later in life. Some of it may not be, but it's, they'll just remember the fun that they had out here and the things they got to do at Seward County Community College. And that's the thing is we, we are a community college and we want to bring people out here and, and use our facilities. You see what we're all about and the things that we can offer. And some of these classes, as I mentioned, our instructors are, are, even, are even some of our business and industry instructors that saw hey, we can do this for the kids as well. So it's hmm. a wonderful summer opportunity for first through eighth grade. Um, give us a call. You can visit our website for the brochure and the form does have to be notarized. We do have a notary here in the office, um, but if you know someone in, in your office or somewhere close by that can notarize it, that's fine as well. And Phil, the other thing you mentioned is we do take care of your kids while they're with us. And if they're here from eight to 12, 15, we do provide snacks throughout the day because. I know I have four kids and for some reason it just goes through them. They're constantly hungry. <laughs> and so we try to make sure that our kids are not going hungry throughout the day. So we do provide snacks while they're here with us. And then hopefully by the time you pick them up, they're ready for you to give them lunch. So can I just clarify something? Okay, so at the very beginning, you had said that uh, you want the kids, to, the parents to pick up the kids. That's only if they're only here for one or two sessions, correct? If they're here for the whole day, you will watch them, correct? Yeah, because we had a couple of people that they like the eight o'clock session and then they like the 11 o'clock session, but they didn't find anything in the middle. So if you don't find anything in the middle, then we ask that you pick them up. Okay. Um, or maybe they start at nine and they are done at 12, 15. And then, then we ask you to bring them at that second session um, just because we don't have enough adults to be watching kids that are just waiting till their session starts. Uh, right. We will have enough staff during intermission time and stuff, but typically you won't find Jennifer and I right there at the registration area because we are capturing the kids, what they're doing by taking pictures for um, right. so parents can see because at the end we do try to put a PowerPoint together of all the stuff that happened. Um, sometimes we'll have to drive the kids to like the bullying class if the teacher can't or whatever. We're just really busy with our students and our teachers. So that's why we ask that if there's a gap in between their schedule that the parents may have to bring okay. them from. 
Right, I just want to clarify that because when yeah. you said, yeah, I, I didn't know it was in intermission in between classes if they were coming in. So basically, yeah. if yeah. you're taking, if you're taking, like you said, eight o'clock class, and then, you know, then they want, they want to stick, they want to have the class over at 11. Well, there's a two hour gap in, or an hour and a half gap in between. You want to pick them up because we're, they could be wandering around. But if they are actually taking all three classes, their the intermissions will be able to watch them. Yeah, no we'll take care of them because the parent, the teachers will pick them up from the registration area, take them to class, and bring them back to us. We'll provide them with a snack, and then the the next teacher will pick them up and take them to class. So they're here for all three classes. We've got them taken care of. But if there's right. some gaps in between, we may need parents' help to make sure that the parents have them until we have the next class started. Now everyone's meeting in the student union as usual. Is that correct? Yes, I just I did get approval from uh, Vice President uh, Dow today, and that's what we'll be meeting as the student union for check-in. Originally, we were talking outside, um, but the team had met, and they said we could go back in the union. So we'll be meeting in the union for um, check-in and pickup. So just like it, so just like it always was. Yep, just like it always was. So we'll um, just looking forward just to seeing the kids and having some fun and seeing the great things that they design, create. Um, whatever they do that week, choose to do that week. And one of the things that we're always looking for, because you're doing this just a little bit <coughs> different this year, and so in terms of the format and such, and so I, I think that was a, one of the great things is to get like a little some feedback from the parents. We always want to hear back from them, so you do as well, just to see what works, what doesn't work, and how things sort of go. Yes, we do like feedback. Um, we've talked about it. Um, we didn't get to have this happen this year, but maybe next year about doing a kids college advisory board formed of just kids. <clears throat> so they can give us information about things they liked and didn't like. Um, I did that before at a previous college mm -hmm. where we did an advisory board and it worked really, really well. Mm -hmm. So, you know, always find out, you know, if you go through this, what, what you really like, what you don't like, um, let them know, you know, that's how we sort of evolve a program. That's how we sort of make it better. That's how we sort of let things go. And, and again, you know, the way they're doing it this year where they're having three, um, three sessions all at once, just having it in the mornings, you know, a lot of times that's just um, really good because it's nice to come back. And then, you know, if there are something that they need to do in the afternoon, they can they have the afternoon for free. So they don't have to keep on running back and forth. And I think that this really works. And again, you know, take your kids out give them a week of adventure and excitement and of learning um three classes they can learn something over there and for 75 dollars it's just i think it's just absolutely steal because you know you can go for let's say golfing for all morning or have so much more but you only learn one thing and you know mm -hmm. and in this case too you know a lot of times you'll you'll meet a lot of different kids you know if you have three classes well you may move one set of kids in one class another set another class and another set another and you get to learn and you know socialize with the kids and you know Ford knows that for the last year and a half we didn't do a lot of socializing and this will be a nice return to form for us yeah a great way to come out and just visit with other kids they may not have seen their friends at all this summer um, so this is where um, friends just invite friends. I know that's what um, a lot of um, my friends I know that bring their kids out. They say, yeah, so and so is going to invite so and so and so and so. So a great way to just hang out with your friends and enjoy something that you all have in common and le hopefully learning something new or ex expanding on a skill maybe that you already had. Mm -hmm. All right, Norma, do you need everything else? Nope, just give us a call, 620-417-1170. Um, and a reminder that we are on summer hours. So the college is open Monday through Thursday, 7 a.m. to 6 p.m. and we're closed on Fridays. And so if there are any of these classes, BNI classes, that, that enrichment courses, safety courses, update courses, refresher courses that you want that you're interested in, give Norman Jen a call. And for any parents who want to know about kids' college, um, give her a call as well. And it's coming up from the 19th through the 22nd of this mm -hmm. month. And again, um, we're willing to sort of help you guys out. This is all about community. And, um, you know, BNI certainly has a lot of classes and is certainly serving the community as well as it can. Yeah, and Phil, just to mention too, we are currently working on our fall schedule. So if you have ideas or maybe you can teach one of these classes, um, I did interview um, someone today for a potential class in the fall. So I'd love to visit with anybody that has any um, skills that they want to make sure that other people can pick up. So give me a call. 
All right. Now, Regine, thanks again for your time. And we really appreciate it. And I know that it's going to be a busy July. You know, you think summer is going to be, you know, people say, oh, it's the education. And you guys say, have summer off. <laughs> nope. I think that we're all finding out that you're pretty busy. Yeah, it flies. So I can't believe we're already almost at kids' college. I'm telling you. All right, Norma Jean, thanks a lot for your time. Thanks, Bill. Take care. Take care. Bye. Bye.